Wales, a nation of inventors, well, we certainly have our fair share, it seems. Our business editor, Gareth Jones, has been travelling the country looking at the latest ideas being dreamt up to make our lives easier. In the first of his reports on inventive Wales, he's been looking at a product that'll hopefully put paid to an old enemy. Their every gardener's nightmare. Slugs and snails can destroy your vegetable patch or perennials overnight. You've got to kill them. Snails, I stamp on. Slugs, I put in salt. Ugly, but effective. One of today's big horticultural questions is how to stop the pesky mollusks in their tracks without using toxic chemicals. The BBC Gardener's World team, for example, have been trying various things, but a new Welsh product has come too late for their trials. At Cardiff University's School of Biosciences, I think they've found the answer. They've taken myrrh, the substance presented to Jesus at his birth, and added sawdust or sand. In their trials, the resulting mixture sent mollusks packing without killing them. These two, for example, just don't want to know. The breakthrough comes partly because of Ahmed's Somali heritage. Being from Somalia, I was more aware of um, the resinous uh, plants from Somalia, such as frankincense and myrrh. Um, the the myrrh occurs in Ethiopia and Somalia. There's over 200 species, one of which is the one that we're studying. Along with gold and frankincense, myrrh was the original Christmas present. Thanks to Welsh expertise, it could now be making a comeback as the ultimate gift to gardeners. After 21 years of innovative research into mollusks and how to deal with them, it's another important success. Don't they call you Dr. Slug Death? They do call me Professor Slug, yes, or Dr. Death. <laughs> how do you feel about that? I don't mind at all, as long as it pays. And that's a distinct possibility. Swansea-based company Compton Group are backing the product with their money and plan to launch it this autumn. And we'll have another invention for you next week, the Easy Bag Sand Hopper. Anyone who's ever been flooded will be more than interested, I can tell you.